Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can find the results of your Microsoft Teams polls. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now in Microsoft Teams, and this is how the homepage looks like. So right here in the left side of your screen, you're going to find all of the sections. There is the activity section, community, chat, and lastly your calendar. Here in the calendar, you're going to find all of your scheduled meetings. And right here in the top, you're going to find the uh, option to join a private meeting using the meeting ID and also the meeting passcode. You can also click on meet now to start a meeting immediately. And here you're going to find the option to uh, start or create a new meeting. This option is for scheduling a new meeting. So right now, as you can see, guys, if you go to community, Right here, you're going to find all of your communities and also your channels. If you want to create a new channel, just go ahead and click on the plus icon in the top to create your community. And right here, you're going to find some templates. You can also click on create my own. Here, you need to add the community name, the community avatar. You can also write a short description about your community. The community guidelines, you can edit them if you want. Here you can enable or disable require approval to join and also you can enable visibility if you want. Once you finish, go ahead and click on create and then your community is created. So basically guys, in order to make polls in Microsoft Teams, you need to have it linked with uh, your Microsoft Forms. So in order to view results of your Microsoft Teams polls, all you need to do guys is follow the steps that I'm going to show you. So in order to view results, after ending your poll, Teams will display the results in real time. You'll see the number and percentage of responses for each option. Participants may also see the results on their screens, depending on how the meeting organizer configured the poll settings. Some versions of Teams allow meeting organizers to export poll results for further analysis. If this feature is available, you might see an option to export results to excel or another file format so this is it guys for today's video thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video